Howdy cowboys and cowgirls, I'm Cowboy Jack and I'm really excited. Today I have a big surprise for you. Now I'm standing here with what looks like a big wall, but this is actually a shipping container that, that's been turned into something really unique. Come on guys, let's head this way. So what looks like just a normal unassuming wall right here actually contains something absolutely incredible. We're here in Oak Ridge, Texas today, and you, we, I am so excited for you guys to get to see what I'm up to. So right here, you'll see, now that we're over here, this is actually, oh, there's my friend Alex. Hey Alex, how's it going today? Hey. So what are we looking at here? Cause this looks just like a regular old shipping container. It is my vertical hydroponic farm. Vertical hydroponic farm, now that's a mouthful. What do you do in here? I grow lettuces, leafy greens, and lots of herbs. This is a farm. Yeah. Inside. This is so cool. Guys, this is amazing. I am so excited to get to take a look in here because, you know, a lot of people grow vegetables and things to eat outside, but you can actually do it in here in this container. Can we go inside and check it out? Yeah. All right, let's, let's go. do it. Wow, guys, look at this. This is absolutely incredible. She wasn't kidding when she said she grows vegetables in here. I mean, this is a true blue farm inside a shipping container. This is so cool. So how long have you, so you guys are called Fairhouse Farms. Yes. Based here in Oak Ridge, Texas. Yes, that's correct. And you guys have been growing vegetables for the community for how long? Since June of 2020. That's a really long time. This yeah. is 2023. You're an old yeah, pro with this. Almost three years. That's awesome. Yeah. So I, there's just so many sights and sounds. I, I was wondering if you could like just kind of explain to us what you guys do in here. This is yeah. so cool. So, like I said before, our farm is hydroponic. That means we don't use any soil. So no soil here, just peat moss plugs. Peat, peat moss, moss plugs. Peat moss plugs is how we plant all of our seeds. They nestle right in here. And I'll show you. This is a lettuce seed. A lettuce seed? That is Goes so right cool. in there. Each tray holds 200 seeds and my whole seedling trough can fit over 4,000 seedlings. Wow. Yeah. And so you just put all those seeds in here yeah. and then you move them down a level? Yeah, so I plant all of the seeds in the trays and then I put the humidity dough on top while the plants germinate. And then germinate, I now that means like growing its first sprouts, right? Yes, so it pops through the seed shell and it takes about a week. And after a week, I take the humidity dome off and after he, the humidity dome comes off, they stay in the trough for two more weeks. So three weeks total. And right here is a three week old seedling. That's crazy. And like you said, no soil. So how do, no they, soil. How do, they, how do these plants get their nutrition? From nutrient enriched water. We put nutrients in here that was formulated just for hydroponic growers. And it gets pumped through the recirculating lines into the tank. Right here is our seedling tank that holds 70 gallons of water. 70 gallons of yeah. water right here? Wow, and I can hear it because the pump is actually moving it down there yeah. to give these guys water. Yeah. That is so cool. So you work really hard to get them nice and established down here. And once they look like something like this, what do you, what happens next? So after the seedlings have lived in here for three weeks, it's time to transplant them into the vertical grow towers over here. Vertical grow. Oh my goodness. That's a lot of leafy greens yeah. down there. That is so cool. This is our main cultivation area. And this is where our plants live for another four to six weeks before we trim them or harvest them. Guys, look at this. Come over here. This is so cool. 
So like, I recognize some of these things, like yeah. this one, since we're in Texas, this is one of my favorites. Yes. Cilantro, right? Cilantro, here. Mm. yes. I love cilantro with my Tex-Mex food. Yes, it's but, delicious. But then what do we have here, like leafy greens? Yeah, this is a spring mix variety. I cut about six or seven different kinds and I mix them together to make a spring mix. That is so cool. <laughs> so guys, I know this is there's a lot to take in right now. But what she's saying is that these don't grow in the dirt, they grow right here. And could you show us how they, how you fit them in there? Like what that does? Yeah, let me go get a seedling for you. This is so cool. We're at an indoor farm. I mean, I, I, you know, I'm Cowboy Jack. I've seen a farm or two, but I've never seen anything like this. Here you go. Here comes the panel. Take your seedling. Wow, okay, I've got my seedling. This is so cool. Cheers. Cheers. And then it goes right in to the foam. Right there. Okay, let me see here. Right in Good there. Good job. Okay, so I just planted my crop. Yes, there that you go. That's so cool. I and I noticed it, it feels kind of moist in there. Yeah. So, so they get all of their nutrition from this foam and yes. from that cotton strip? This is a cotton wicking strip. So as the water drips down, it wets the cotton wicking strip and it comes in contact with the plant's roots and that's how they get their nutrients. That is so cool. So the water drips, guys, come look at this. So I, I mean, I don't want to put words in your mouth, but I assume the water comes out of those nozzles. Yeah, up there. the water comes pushed up over the pipe, drips down through the drip emitters, comes down through the panel, comes in contact with the plant's roots drips down into the gutter, and then it slides all the way back into the main tank on the floor where it recirculates. And we all use this for a gallon of water a day to water the whole farm. A gallon of water per Just day? Just one gallon of water That's a day. That's not hardly any. It's not. So this is like sustainable farming, yes, right? Yes, very. And these products are all natural, grown from non-GMO seeds. Right. And that is so cool, because I mean, even the cilantro, like you were saying, um, you know, you take these to the farmer's market. Mm -hmm. and how long do they stay fresh when you take them to the farmer's market? A really long time. I harvest and I go straight to the market. So my customers are getting the greens at peak freshness. It lasts so much longer in their fridge that wow. way. Yeah. That's, even, that's better than what you get at the grocery it store. It is. That is so cool. Wow. So could you tell us about some of the plants you're growing? Of course. Over here is my arugula. If you like peppery arugula, this is the most peppery arugula you can find. Wow, I'm a, I'm a nut for peppery arugula. <laughs> <laughs> and if you like spicy, this is our wasabi arugula. It even makes this beautiful white flower that's also edible and also tastes just like wasabi. Seriously? So you yeah. can eat this stuff and it tastes spicy? Yeah. Can I try a piece? Yeah, go ahead. Do I just pull a leaf yeah. off? Yeah. All right, here goes nothing. Spicy wasabi. Spicy wasabi arugula. Spicy wasabi arugula. Let's say that one five times. <laughs> oh, that one too. Wow. Alex, you weren't kidding. That's got a little bite to it. It does. That is a, what, what an fiery. incredible, what an incredible flavor. That is so cool. Such a great leafy green to mix in with other lettuces just for a little bit of an extra kick. We give you a little surprise in that salad. It does. That's, that is awesome. Such a such a kick and such a small leaf. I see you have even more down Yeah. Here. This is my romaine right here. Guys, look at this romaine lettuce grown right here at Fairhouse Farms in this container yeah. inside this indoor farm hydroponically. Yeah. My head is spinning with all this. This is so cool. Out of all the lettuces I grow, romaine is definitely the most nutrient dense. Really? Mm -hmm. I didn't know that. Well, it looks great. I mean, and you know what I love about your all your all these vegetables that you're growing, the thing that I don't see is any bite marks from bugs or anything right. dirty from outside. Yeah. And you don't have to put any pesticides or right. chemicals or right. anything on it. No herbicides or pesticides are sprayed at any of my crops. So rest assured that when you get it, you don't have to wash it or anything beforehand before you eat it because it's already completely clean. That 
is so cool. I mean, when you get vegetables home from the grocery store, you have to always make sure you wash them because the farmers that grow those outdoors have to use a lot of chemicals that aren't good for us. But here at uh, Fairhouse Farms, these are just how they came straight from the seed. That is so cool. Yeah. This guy looks a little bit different. Yeah. What kind of lettuce is this? This is called Skyfos Butterhead. Very sweet, tender texture. Most people, Butterhead is their favorite. <laughs> I don't know that I've ever had Butterhead lettuce, but this is so cool. It looks a lot different. It does, yeah. And right next to here, this is called oak leaf. Oak leaf? Yeah, I have a purple and a green. <laughs> and then I recognize this one, but I can't think of the name. What is this? This is green leaf, green leaf lettuce. Green leaf lettuce. Perfect for sandwiches and burgers, in my opinion. And this must be just some more of And more mixed spring greens. mix, right, that's S correct. Spring mix, that is so cool. Yeah. show you all the other side as well. Wow, look at that. So it's not just that one walkway with vegetables. She can move these panels over and it exposes even more of the farm. Yeah. That is crazy. Here's more green leaf lettuce. Wow. You know what? I, so you, a lot of farmers have to depend on the season, yeah. what they can grow. You know, it might be soybean season, it might be rice season, it might be cotton season, whatever. You're in a controlled environment, yeah. so 365 days a year, you get to grow this incredible nutritional food. Yeah. That is so That awesome. is true. Everything is always in season for us. More oak leaf, more romaine, <laughs> and then a little bit more leaf. Wow, I just love looking at them fighting the urge to touch it because I know this is going to be somebody's food and they don't want my grimy hands all over it. But this is just so cool. I mean, come in real close and get a close-up look at this. I mean, this is just how God made them and they're grown right here without using any soil, getting nutrition just from the water that they're provided. That is so cool. Wait a second, it looks different in here. Alex, what did you do? I turned on the LED lights. Wow. Now yeah. Look at that. Wow, guys, take a take a look down there. Make sure to peek on this side. That is so cool. Now, what are those for? Does that help the plants? Yes. So we have Ooh, LED it lights. Is right. I mean, <laughs> Cowboy Jack walked back here. I'm looking like I'm on the big stage over here. I better get out of that. <laughs> So we have the blue lights to help grow strong stems, and then the red light for to grow large leafy greens. That is crazy. And so do you run these lights all the time? It's on for 18 hours a day. Wow, 18 yeah. hours a day. No sleep for these plants. No sleep. Well, because you're you're actually putting out an incredible product at a, in an incredibly fast pace. Yes. Because you said something about, how long does it take a normal head of lettuce to grow? About eight to 10 weeks, but six weeks here in our farm. That is incredible. And it's because of those really bright lights. Wow. <laughs> With the LED lights and the smart watering and the nutrients, things grow way faster. That is so cool. I mean, I feel like I'm in Las Vegas. <laughs> that is so cool. <laughs> Guys, just take a look back there. I mean, it, it almost looks, this doesn't look like a farm. It doesn't feel like a farm. It smells so incredibly clean in here. Yeah. The air just feels so much better than it does outside, actually. Yeah. And that's because you have an advanced filtration system. Yeah. And you were telling me something about this right here. This is, the guys, CO2. look at this. This is actually a cylinder of, of concentrated carbon dioxide. And if I don't know much about farming, but I bet Miss Alex is going to tell us a thing or two about how plants use carbon dioxide. Yeah. So we pump the CO2 in here about 1,200 parts per million, and the plants just eat it up, and it helps grow, them grow a lot faster. In our normal atmosphere, we have about 400 parts per million of carbon dioxide. So we up it just a little bit just to help our plants grow a little bit faster. That is so cool. And one thing that I've always loved about the, you know, how our environment works together is the fact that plants need carbon dioxide to breathe and, and they, they put out oxygen yeah. as their waste product. But us humans and animals need oxygen to breathe and we put out carbon dioxide as a waste product. That's a really cool relationship. It there. is, isn't it? I love it. And I've been talking so much in here, your carbon dioxide's probably gone up since <laughs> Cowboy Jack's been here. Just a little bit. <laughs> 
wow, now we were just standing here talking and we started to see this little guy spin. So that was her sensor telling, what, it, no, it, it's sensing that it needs a certain nu nutrient? Yeah, so it's sensing that we need more nutrients in the main tank. So water is being pushed over these lines and over, over these sensors 24 seven, testing the nutrient level, the water temperature, and the pH level. So right now the main tank can sense that the nutrient level is a little bit low. So now it's dosing the main tank with our nutrients right here. That is so cool and all this technological advancement and automation for growing these incredible products. This is so cool. All right, cowboys and cowgirls. Wow, what an incredible time we've had today here at Fairhouse Farms in Oak Ridge, Texas. Miss Alex, thank you so much for having us. It's been an absolute Thanks, pleasure. Cowboy Jack. I mean, my head is really kind of spinning with all these facts that you've thrown at. Wait a second, these guys are laughing at my hair, aren't you guys? All right, I'll put my hat back on. But this was so cool to learn about hydroponic farming and all the incredible products that you get to grow right here in Oak Ridge, North Texas. This is so cool. Thank I've had you. an absolute blast and I've learned so much. It's been crazy. And you get to do this every single day. Every day. Then, do you ever get bored of it? Never. I wouldn't think so. <laughs> but hey, I really appreciate you having us. I know these kiddos at home really had a blast learning from you. Do you think I could convince you to do the yee with me? Absolutely. All right, so I'm gonna count it off and then we're gonna do the yeehaw. So I hope you had fun. Make sure you're following along because we go on all kinds of adventures. But until the next time I see you, one, two, three. Yeah.